Good day, everybody, and welcome to My Sims 4. My name is Patty, and today I'm going to play The Sims and show you what I got going on. This is my main character, Prissy G. She's kind of my helper sim, and she helps me build all of the houses that I create. Which, by the way, I have a small collection on the EA Gallery if you want to go check them out. The house that I'm going to play today is indeed one of those houses that's up on the gallery. So, this is our main character, Prissy G. She's um, a young adult. She likes cats and she's neat and she likes to garden. She's quite the painter. She's got a lot of painting skill already piled up. So, we're going to move into the cabin on the hill, which I recently did upload <coughs> onto the gallery, so you too can have this lovely home. I was kind of pleased. I'm kind of proud of this one. I haven't done this one before. Um, it's kind of a country home, and I did put it in Newcrest, and it looks really good where it's at, but if you pan around too much, yeah, there's city around here, so this one would probably be better in something like Brindleton Bay or someplace where there's lots of trees and wildlife around, not necessarily here. Looks like it's just started to rain in Crest, New Crest. Is that what it is? I don't play it very often. Okay, you might notice in the background over there we've got a farm that we're in the process of. That's in, that's in build mode right now. Um, some people took pets and they've created farm animals out of them and I just couldn't resist. So um, we've got a farm going on next door and that helps make her neighborhood look a little more country-ish. On the other side, there is also this one and honestly I don't remember what it's called. This is again one of my builds. You can find it on the gallery. Um, they're all pretty inexpensive houses. So if you want to check those out, that would be super cool. Super cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get Prissy out of the rain here. She's kind of a nature girl, so she's probably really not hating the rain, but we want to go in and see the house. Um, creating these multi-levels up the hill was quite the challenge, but once I got the hang of it, it kind of all worked out. It all came together. There she goes. So on the second level here, you can see we have a covered greenhouse and her little gardening area. On the next one up here, she's got a painting area and a little sitting area. Oh, it looks like we've got something growing here. That's right. We've got an orchid growing in one of those special green pots. And then, of course, she's got the swimming pool that you can see right here so she can keep herself fit in shape. Okay, so let's go inside. I have to admit right now I'm really bad at panning around so I'm not going to just, I'm not going to try to work miracles. I'll do the best I can. Um, I'm really pleased with this little tiny house. It's not a micro house, it's a tiny house. Um, but I got to utilize this little corner piece that I hardly ever get to utilize. I actually created that little cubby just for it. But cramming in a fireplace, the whole entertainment center. This thing doesn't have any kind of stereo that I could see. Yeah. Oh, it does. Listen, too. Oh, it does. Oh, well, duh. That's what that is down there. Huh? I'm looking at it going, that's it right there. So she doesn't actually need the speaker up there. We'll pitch that. Okay, so anyways, sorry. I'm having a discovery moment. So here's a little doorway. I guess it's a little bland and plain. That just means that there's room for growth and to make it comfortable, make it your own home. <clears throat> and if you go through the next room over here, this is our kitchen. Sorry about the bouncing around. Again, I told you I'm not very good at the panning. I try to be still. So um, because the house is up on the hill, it kind, kind of bounces around anyways. So this really... It's not all my fault, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So the little kitchen area was big enough to put a table and chairs in and a computer over here and and my ever so favorite trash can. 
if you don't use these trash cans, you're just throwing money away, literally. Oh, that's what I'm doing. So what I mean is that um, right now, if she threw away a plate into that trash can, it would pay her $10, and it goes up in increments of I don't know what. Um, I don't know if it's based off of their income or the value of the home or what, but uh, I've had some Sims throw away their dinner plate after eating and get $60 from it. So um, cool gadget to have in your house. Just a little info there. Um, the bathroom is just a bathroom. That's all. Nothing in there. I mean, well, I, I got it kind of fancy. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to take a break from showing you the house because we have a visitor. Yay! So part of our goal today is to uh, meet people, be social, and meet people in the neighborhood, make some friends. Life is so much easier when you have friends in your world. And um, and then I want her to go to college. We're going to enroll her in the university. So uh, <clears throat> goals. Oh, just like that. Well, thank you for coming. So yes, visit with your neighbor. We only have one neighbor. There's nobody living next door. There's that fellow right there. Oh, and then the bathroom, uh, the bedroom. I didn't show you the bedroom here. This little soft blue bedroom here. I'm really pleased with the way that turned out. I'm not not really big and showy like some of them will go into a lot of detail. I'm just, it's not me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, I might in some cases. Just not at this moment. She's got a visitor. Um, this is actually yeah, Tanner Bowman, Bowen, who lives in the farm over there. So that's his farm. That's my neighbor, my next door neighbor. Looks like a male person. We're going to have to move somebody in over here so we have another neighbor. <clears throat> so here she is. I'm going to lower the wall because this is the way I like to play. I can kind of still get the ambiance of the inside of the house, but it's open enough that you don't have to try to peer over walls, which is exceptionally difficult in these um, in these little tiny houses. So talking to her neighbor. She's a cat lover herself, so she's probably going to hit it off with this guy. Um, let's see. She's... Oh, that's right. She's a notable newcomer. So she helps me build my houses, but when she's not doing anything, she's painting. She paints like crazy. So she's kind of um, boned up her painting skill enough to be a notable newcomer. And, of course, she's got the creative trait anyways. Um, so she's neat, creative, and she's a cat lover. She also has a high metabolism, which is... Uh, something I wish I could just click on and have uh, because it causes her to want to go exercise and not gain weight so fast. Sims in this world just get fat so easy. So, um, so yep, yeah, this one's got high metabolism. Talking, talking, just talking. I started them in the fall. It's the second day of fall. It's pretty chilly, but that's when school starts. So, um, so yes, leaves are falling in the background. So pretty, so pretty. Talking, talking. It's nice to meet you. Do you like computers? I have a laptop in my little shack. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm trying to remember to open and close windows when I'm done with them because because I forget. Well, they're getting along quite well. Like in the rain. Chitter chatter. Sorry, I'm looking around my little cat. She like likes to play the Sims too. Hi huh, Jelly Bean. Ooh, an all-nighter. Really? And the cat's right back. Can't win. Oh, she's going to chase the... She's going to chase the mouse. I can't... Or, I, bleh, 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 bleh. He's using my computer. I really hate when they do that. That is so rude. 
Oh, what can we do to make him get it? Oh, he just did it. Okay, let's go over here and take care of this right now. I'm really glad that they added this feature here because that fixes the rudeness. What? He's going to eat the food too? She prepares food and he eats it? Oh, oh my gosh. Tanner Bowen is rude. Oh, I'm just, well, what can I expect? He lives with a bunch of animals. <laughs> no, that's not even true. Animal people are very loving and kind people. I know this because I'm an animal person. Josephine, she's like, mm, let me go. <clears throat> oh, look, it's starting to rain harder. Raining, raining, raining. I love the rain. So the little pool is really handy, but it's kind of tiny. So it's hard to get any laps in there, and that's kind of what <clears throat> she likes to do. <laughs> She's an athletic. Lilith Pleasant. I heard you became friends with Tanner Bowen. He's pretty cool. I didn't know Lilith knew him. I didn't know she knew Lilith. Well, I guess she has a couple of friends she might have. She might have more friends. Oh, she's been over there to see his animals. Oh. Serious? So she knows Daisy, his cow. Uh-oh. I don't... Yeah, he still does have Gracie. I didn't do anything about it. We're not going to go meet his animals right now. Oh, looking around the cat head again. I swear, little cat. Do you have a cat that sits on your desk? It gets in your face, that chases the mouse around. I do. I do. <clears throat> Look at all these people walking around the background. Okay, so she's gonna eat. Watch here. Check this. Check this trash can out. Watch this. Watch. Ten dollars. She got ten dollars for that applesauce plate. And what is this? She's hungry. Why didn't she eat? What's up, girl? There you go. Sit on down there. So, um, I have to say, I love these little book collections. They can sit on your desk and serve as a full bookshelf. That was an awesome upgrade that they gave us. I just, it's like, it's about time. A couple of things they do are like that. Sometimes I wish I could say, you know what else you need to do? I've been playing all 20 years. Let me tell you what else would help us a lot. Some things just seem like, why don't they see that? But, well, <clears throat> such is the life of The Sims. Maybe it's made that way intentionally just to add to your little frustrations. I'm looking at this lot going, I didn't really want to put her on this lot just simply because there's this area right next door. This lot was actually originally built here, but then it was too close to the farm, so I moved it, and so, yeah, now I'm not happy with the placement of the lot. But, hey, it's all good. She's going to be busy going to college and not thinking about anything else anyways. Look at that goofy look on her face. So she's very playful. Why is she very playful? Mm, she made a new friend. Her place is homey. It's nicely decorated, absolutely excellent meal. She, oh, she's got a refined palette. And feeling inspired from the creative. Okay, so that's all good. Then let's go over here and Cat is back. Oh my gosh. Apply to universities. She's going to go ahead and do that right now. Are you biting me? Are you kidding? You biting me? Who bited me? Jelly Bean <clears throat> was an orphan, so I raised her. So she thinks I'm her mama. I'm pretty sure she's not sure she's a cat. And her best friend in the world is a giant dog. Oh, she's biting me. Ah! Are you sorry? 
We stopped. Okay, so she thinks it's cuddle time. Ow! <laughs> Anyways, her application is on its way. Yeah, so the application takes some time. She's sleeping on the couch. Are you serious, girl? You have a bed to sleep in. It's not even bedtime. Is she seriously that tired? She's not tired at all. You know what? You know what? Let's go down here and check out our garden. Look how rough and tough Lilith, Lilith looks down there. I should play Lilith one of these days. I have to admit, I did play them in The Sims 2. Her and her sister were always fighting. They would literally get into fist fights in the house all the time. So they were kind of entertaining to play. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. We didn't tell her to do anything. Let's come on down here and nothing gets watered. Oh, wait a minute. Some things do need water down here. Water, water. Looks like there's harvestables, too. Yes, harvest all. Yes, okay. So we'll send her on down to her garden. La, la, la. Something to do. We'll wait for our application. It's getting dark. I kept running into technical difficulties and now my natural light is almost gone, but that's okay. I'm not one to sit in the spotlight. Um, as I said, it's my birthday. I'm the big 6-0. So, <clears throat> as I said, I'm not one to sit in the spotlight and let you look at all my wrinkles. But I like the way she's whistling and watering. So I've also noticed with seasons, the colorations of the plants are different. And, you know, like this looks like a dead plant, but it's perfectly fine. So, yeah, you just got to get used to that. You got to actually literally go check them. You can't look at them. You have to literally click on them to see if they need any care. It's kind of dark down there, but it's not too bad. She's just enjoying that, having a good time. Everything's dripping wet. You know what? Let's do this a little tiny bit faster. Do, 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 do. Harvesting. What did we harvest? We harvested chrysanthemums, holly, basil, grapes. This is all the typical stuff that you get in the very first packs. So we're going to have to maybe go out looking later for some different seeds because we want something different. We don't want the same thing that they put in every beginner pack. Okay, now it's 10 o'clock. Are you sleepy yet, girl? Me, 10 o'clock, I'm like going down. She's not even sleepy. She's just all buffed out. Oh, it's probably the house that gives her the extra, you know, go get them. And then she has, um, I think the sunny aspect kind of means that after dark, they become active. That being said, I want her on a routine since she's going to start college. So we're going to go ahead and put her to bed anyways. So girl, finish up what you're doing there because you are going nighty. That'll make the time go faster and we can get that application, get started for college. Oh, so I love The Sims. It's funny how much time I can invest in this, and there's no huge payoff except for the satisfaction in itself. Buy a cat condom. She doesn't even have, she wants to buy a cat condom, she doesn't even have a cat. <clears throat> I have to admit, I did kind of model her after myself, except that I tend to get a little chunky, so I made sure that she would not by giving her, um, you know, the metabolism. So we differ quite much, quite a bit there. Look at all those knives sitting there above the stove, like she's ready to do some slicing and dicing. Just taking a long, leisurely drink. Does you Do you think the application came in today, or do you think it's going to take one more day. 
it's Tuesday. It's also five o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh. Five o'clock in the morning. That's when I get up too. I don't get up that early. It's just my dog does and he's like crossing his leg doing the funny dance. So I have to get up and let him out. I have two dogs and three cats and they all have their own little beds. In fact, if it was bright, you would see their two beds back there behind my chair. Giant dog beds. And back to her computer she goes. She really likes the computer. It comes naturally. This looks like her clock. Is sitting on the dresser backwards? It sure is. Let's click this around real quick. Ready? Boom. There we go. It's that detail-oriented stuff, you know? So when is the mailman going to come? Hurry, mailman, come. I am anxious and anxious and anxious. I might take this moment right now to encourage everybody to go to university themselves. This coming from a retired math teacher. And anybody can do it, too. I always thought that I couldn't go to college and make it. I, I started college when I was in my 30s, and so it was terrifying to go to college, especially when I met all those young people, and it's like, I can't do this. But I really wanted to be a teacher bad enough that I was able to do whatever I set my mind to, and I have to say, I really went beyond what I thought I was going to do, and it was exciting. Like, the more I learned the more I realized I could use my brain and think in ways that others didn't and you know it kind of college doesn't teach you to be smarter it teaches you to think to put the pieces together logically and think and you know those critical thinking skills are really really important to be successful you, you, I think you take a lot less bumps when you do that not to say that if you don't have an education you can't make it because I don't agree with that I know a lot a lot of people that do not have an education and I really look up to them so it's just that it taught me to think deeper oh I don't know when the mail person comes check application status In and out, in and out. It's too early. I know it's too early, but I'm going to check anyways. Wait a minute. I didn't say anything. What is that? She saw icky. You know what? Since your application isn't in right now, social media. <laughs> oh, since your application isn't in right now, I'm going to have her come in here and practice debate because that seems to be something that um, all of the students have to take in the university. And of course, watching these things in fast mode is entertaining in itself. On the road to fame. Um, okay. I don't know why that flushed up. <laughs> she hasn't done anything to earn any fame. The scenery across the street is sad. It's sad that that has to be the scene. <laughs> almost makes me want to like relocate her but I refuse to do that again <laughs> you have no idea how many times I reset this trying to get it just perfect juice I believe we're drinking pomegranate white grape oh no this is the berry one let me taste it again yeah, this is the berry blend. The pomegranate white grape had a very different flavor. 
Duh. <laughs> uh, so look at these curtains moving over here. Like it's really windy or something. My curtains never move. Well, maybe they do and I just don't watch. Wait a minute. Well, hello, Lilith. Absolutely. Come on in. Girlfriend, are we friends? Are we going to be buds? Well, let's brighten her day since she's my friend. Uh huh. Alrighty. Um. Cool dress, girl. Oh, let's talk about some fitness. How about we get to know you? And let's tell an unbelievable story. Fighting. She'll like you for that kind of conversation. She whooped your sister a lot when they were kids. Oh, and she's a kleptomaniac. That's good to know. Please don't steal anything out of my house, Lilith. Yeah, I'm starting to get some motivation and ideas about Miss Lilith. Okay, Lilith wants to go do some homework, so fabulous, Lilith. Come on in. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't think she's um, smart enough to help. <laughs> to tutor or anything like that. It's all good. She needs to go take a shower while Lilith does her homework anyways, right? Right? <laughs> uh, funny. Okay. Well, that's all good. So, yeah, I think her application will probably come in for her on her Sim Wednesday. Singing in the shower. There she goes. Oh, now she's going to cook something. Good job. Just just do your thing, girl. Oh. Wow, she moved chairs so she could talk to me. Here, let's eat a plate of that macaroni and cheese, will you? Talk to your friend Lilith. All right. Lilith finished her homework. It looked like she put it in the bathroom. I don't know where she would have put it, so I guess I was tri tripping on that one. Did Lilith leave? Bye. Oh, she said she really should get going. I didn't catch that one. Okay, hurry up here. We want to. You know what? While you're waiting, why don't you come out here and swim in your tiny little pool? Let's swim some laps. Go, girl, go. Got to keep your figure. That little pink bathing suit always kind of freaks me out when she first pops into it. And it's getting dark now. Yay! All right, girl. And jump into bed. Boom. And tomorrow's a new day. <clears throat> I was going to go, what's floating in that pool? But it was a light. It was a light. Catch your Z's, girl. It's going to rain some more. It's supposed to rain here, too. I live in the Sierra Nevadas. So... We're going to get rain, and hopefully it's not going to be too cold. We oftentimes get a snow in early March is what I'm thinking, and it's like, I it doesn't feel cold enough for a snow, but we'll see. What is she doing out of bed already? 
Well, let's keep her busy. Let's go over here and, um, you know what? Can you sing, girl? Let's see if you can sing. You can get fame by singing. Oh, she's updating her social media again. Oh, she's never sang before. Okay, so that's always awful to listen to them learn how to sing. And they sing a lot of uh, elementary songs, you know, the children's songs. I hope it's not too dark in here. Um, it's been 25 minutes anyways. I just wanted to get that application and get her enrolled in college. So that's what we're hoping for and waiting on here. Turn this around so we can see our mailbox. La, 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 la. <laughs> I don't sing. I have a guitar, and I do sing, but I don't sing in public. I don't sing for anybody. I sing for my cat, my little jelly bean cat. She's an honorary little thing, and so she kind of has a, a beanie weenie song. Okay, I sing along with The Sims all the time. Look, she's already level four like that. Is she? Oh my, oh my gosh, that was so fast. She's already a level four. I mean, she just, she had no singing skill and now she's a level four. That is crazy. Look at these people walking past her house. She's gonna have to go out there and meet some people. But first she's gonna use the toilet before she has an accident. Wow. These tiny homes are just so great for skilling up. The thing is, let me look at that star riding my bike. This little home that I built over that I built over here a long time ago. This is probably smaller than a micro home. I probably when I start playing this one will go back in and change it to a micro home. That's <laughs> cool. By the way, that's a little cabin with an outhouse. And it's got a very large garden, but it's also... Wow, it looks like it's missing some things here. Oh, no, I guess they're all there. Um, okay, anyways. Hmm. Well, she's a cleaner. She's a neat freak. I have to say I'm kind of a neat freak, too. It's... It's, well, we won't talk about some of the neat freak things in my home. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay, the mail's been delivered, so that's probably her application. So, boom, an acceptance letter. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, I don't think she needs to go get it now. I think she can just go ahead and apply now. Alrighty! So, Enroll. Yay. And I've been trying to think about what I'd like her to do. I noticed there's quite a few new um, jobs that you could go towards, and I haven't even looked at them yet. Okay, first the college. Okay, I am not fond of Foxbury. Burry. Foxbury. I don't know. Um, it's got too many stairs. You can get up and down and dark halls. It takes forever to get where you want to go. So I'm going to choose um, Brightchester strictly because of that. And um, so if you really want to get a good idea of what to choose, <clears throat> need to go over here and scroll down and see kind of what you wanted, what direction you wanted to go. Like startup entrepreneur. But what I was looking at the other day is we have choices for a judge, which I thought would be super cool, or there it is, the private attorney. 
So I think we're going to go for a private attorney. <clears throat> Pardon my squeak. <laughs> uh, and we'll start with just three classes right now so we can get in the swing of things. Yeah, and she's going to stay at home. So she'll save quite a bit of money not having to go there. So her total cost... Um, her total cost is $220. She got $500 for scholarship. Scholarship merit. I don't know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that in a loan. And we'll make payments on it later. Because I haven't done that yet either. Okay, yay, hooray, we've got her enrolled in school. She's got a couple of friends, Lilith, and her next door neighbor, who um, we will continue to soup up his place so he will be a fun neighbor to go see. He will have the pet fix for her that she needs. It's funny, when I look out here, I don't see any of his pets. But then you don't usually see the Sims around there either. Um, but yeah, oh, anyways, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I really want to say thank you for coming and spending my birthday with me and my Sims 4. Um, I could use some encouragement so we can continue to do these videos. This is something I've kind of always wanted to do. And now that I'm retiring, I've got time to do something like this. So again, give me the encouragement, help me help me to know what would make you happy. What is it that you want to see in The Sims 4? And um, thanks for being here. See you next time. Bye.